Let's talk about how to get started in ZBrush. So you can see here that I have a base character that was made in Maya. And then I can see that he's got eyes and then also teeth. Okay, so how do I bring all of these into ZBrush, make sure that they're all aligned? I can see that if I hide him, I can see that here's his eyes and teeth. So how do I do that um, as separate subtools? So let's just kind of talk about that. And if I look here, Here's my Maya scene file. I can see that my character is, he's made. I can see that if I open this up, here's his eyes. And then here's his teeth. If I open this up, I can see that, uh, maybe if I press four, I can see that here's his teeth, gums, um, all of that stuff. So how am I going to, once again, set this up in ZBrush? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the desktop and I'm just gonna make a folder called Base Mesh. Okay, and I can see that that's empty. And I'm gonna export all of my uh, parts that I wanna import into ZBrush. I can see that I've got a lot of history here. I'm just gonna delete the history real quick. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go File, Export Selection. Notice I only have the body selected. So I'm gonna go Export Selection. And if I go here, here's the base mesh. I'm gonna call this um, OBJ underscore body. And I'm gonna have all this set to off and I'm gonna make sure that it's an OBJ export. Okay, and this will work whatever program you're, you're using, whether it's Blender, Max, or whatever, uh, same concepts apply. Now for the eyes, I don't necessarily want them to be separate. So I think I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna to go to Mesh Combine. And now they're one, okay? So I can see that here's the history of that. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm going to take these eyes. I'm going to go File, Export Selection, and I'm going to call this OBJ Eyes. And for the teeth, I can see that um, maybe I'm going to hide him and the eyes for now. And I can see here's the teeth. It's all separate parts. Okay. Uh, but maybe I want that to all be one thing. So I'm going to just select this. I'm going to go once again, Mesh. Um, I could do mesh combine, I could do separate, doesn't really matter. Um, let's look at if I don't combine it, okay, if I just select the group instead. And now I'm gonna go file, export selection, and I'm gonna call that obj underscore teeth. Save that as an obj, all of that off, I'm gonna hit export selection. Okay, great. Now I should have my three obj files right here. There they are. Now, the trick is how to bring that into ZBrush. So for that, I'm just gonna to go to the simple brush here, switch, control N to clear the scene. Okay, now I've got a clean kind of Maya, or I'm sorry, a ZBrush scene. I'm gonna start by making sure that my tool menu is over here. And if it's not, I just wanna go here and drag this over here. And if you don't see that, you have to double click on these arrows to open this up. Then I'm gonna click on import. Now I'm gonna go ahead and import my character. So here's base mesh. I'm gonna import his body. It actually doesn't matter which order I do this. I'll import him. I'll see that he's here and if I click and drag, here he is. Now before I click and drag again, I have to click the edit button. If I click the edit button, now I can rotate him. But let's say if I forgot and I dragged him in and now if I drew him and try to rotate them, sometimes this happens. Okay, that's kind of annoying. So the way to get rid of that is to hit Control N to clear the canvas. I'm gonna draw them on again. And if I draw again, I'm gonna create another one. So I have to make sure I go to Edit. And now when both of those are highlighted, now I can rotate them just fine. Um, and I can also, if I hold down Shift, to kind of snap to these angles. And if I hold down Alt and click, it goes like that. And if I'm holding down the mouse button and then let up on Alt, I can zoom in, okay? So now I have him in here, but now the trick is how do I get his teeth and his eyes in? Well, if I import his teeth and his eyes right now, they're gonna override his body. So for example, if I went to import and I went to teeth, you can see that it overrode him. And I feel like that's where people kind of get frustrated with ZBrush. It's kind of like, what the heck is going on here? So I'm gonna put it back to body. And instead I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit append 
down on Subtools, and I'm going to append this star. Now I can click on the star, and instead of overwriting the body, it's going to overwrite this star, which is something I don't want. So I'm going to hit Import, and now I can bring in his eyes. And I can see that the, his eyes are there. And then to bring in his teeth, you guessed it, I'm going to hit Append. I'm going to bring in the ugliest thing I can think of, which is this star. And then I have to make sure that I select this layer before I import the next thing, which is going to be his teeth. And now I have all of that. Okay, so now I have his, uh, his body. And if I zoom in here, I can kind of see. And if I put that into transparent, I can kind of start to see, yeah, it does have his teeth and it does have his eyes. Okay, so if I click on teeth layer and if I hide this, I can see, yep, sure enough, he's got the teeth in there. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful um, where now I can start sculpting. I just have to make sure that I'm on the correct subtool, but uh, that's a great way to get started in ZBrush.